welcome back to our channel this is draw chronicles today i want to share with you how you go about getting artisans for your construction work maybe you are somewhere you have a project on with how you'll be able to get the best artisans it is very clear that we have our brothers from togo coming to ghana to do the very best of job often these individuals are keen and they make sure that they do the job to the very best in time now the trick is that if you want to get somebody to do something for you maybe a carpenter a mason or whatsoever i always advise that get somebody that has done something you've seen practically the person has done swimming pool the person have laid blocks somebody build a house get these people to do the job for you so get somebody that have done the job before so if you want a carpenter go look at the job done by that carpenter before you go for the fellow just don't rely okay i have a friend in the market i need a carpenter and they call the person for you that person may call the carpenter to come and do something tiny but what do you are calling the carpenter for maybe something very critical like a roofing job that carpenter may not be good with roofing even a carpenter we have the ones that do furnishing we have the ones that are doing specialists in roofing we have the ones that do woodworks and all of that so if you want to get somebody let's say you want somebody for roofing you must make sure you go for a carpenter that have done a roofing job that you've seen practically so just don't rely on the information given by that fellow go see the job for yourself then you can be satisfied that this job is being done by this individual before you get a fellow to do the job i'm at site now you can hear that that is a carpenter cleaning wood and then trying to fix a door another thing also is that sometimes you get contractors to do the job for you and this person brings people from different different areas right so you can get a contractor to come and do the job for you but you are not sure to get the right people he or she will not go for the right people to come and do the job for you maybe on the grounds of uh, the labor you are going to pay for the people or the cost that comes with the project so just don't rush they'll go pick any individual to come and do the job for you another key thing about somebody let's say uh, a mason is that we have different class of masons. there are some people who are good with just molding of blocks there are people who are also good for fencing of wall but that individual have not practically went into building of a house so if you should go out there and you call this person that is good at laying blocks only to come and build a house for you you will fall the victim now we have people in the business that have been doing a lot of jobs right so fall on them if a brother is able to build a house and the building is beautiful and nice go to that fellow and ask okay i need the person who did this tower work for you i need the person who do this painting work for you then you are sure to get that individual that will do the very best of job for you on the market don't be in the rush to pick anybody for example people in accra or somebody in kumasi or whatever you find yourself there are a lot of people who are wannabes and they are in the market just ready for you to call them to come and do the job they are not experienced and any problems to pop out of it they will not be able to solve it out for you the tip i would love to give you extra is that it's better to hire somebody that is expensive today that will do the best job for you or go for somebody that is a mediocre and you need to spend expensive money in future to come and repair the mistakes caused by that individual don't do that mistake at all get an expensive person to get a mason today a mason is around 200 cities and you have a laborer paying you 100, 100 cities or 150 to some extent so if you get somebody so you bring 70 cities i'll do the job for you you may feel you're exploiting that individual yes for that moment you exploit the person but it is shooting your own self in the foot and in the future it will bring a lot of problems so make sure that you go out there to see some individual that have done practically something you've seen for a lot of people can vouch for the credibility and then the good stuff the individual have been able to build construction wise and you see for yourself credibility is very key because one thing that cost a lot of people at site to lose money is wastage and wastage is in two forms one the improper mixing or usage of the building materials another one is stealing of the building materials by the construction workers so if you get construction workers coming to your site and going to steal your property uh, the materials you bought for the building of your property you are sure to know that you are going to spend a lot of money to build a simple house than you spend ordinarily so get for somebody that get somebody that is trustworthy this individual you're sure that if you bring cement to site he's going to use the cement to do the house you will not use two and send three outside some of them they do is for example you get somebody to lay blocks for you that person you are you're supposed to get a standard number of blocks out of a cement if you use the cement to mix you know sand you're supposed to get a standard number of blocks he or she can choose to exploit that want to use get a lot of blocks out of one bag of cement and then they they're going to steal some of the cement bags and then you don't get the solid cement block you need for your project 
so somebody with credibility is very key in this our market to get somebody that's credible somebody that have been in the business for a long time and someone that's also evolving what they are doing last year all they are doing two years ago three years ago in the electrical fields in the construction fields whatsoever are changing so somebody that is able to change with the market and learning practically he or she will be able to learn new things and then will evolve with you and then that fellow will do the right job for you this is the property behind me you can see a three bedroom house where we're going and we're going to share with you in the future what's you know what goes on here pool is also there brother's going to close down fix towels and all of that i'll give you more details about this property in our subsequent episode this is draw chronicles if you find this helpful please subscribe to our channel until next time yeah a covenant with you is real estate